plastic, it's an important res resource, but why should we think about it in an environmental sense? The answer is simple. Plastics do not degrade like normal construction materials. This inability to degrade allows them to accumulate uh, inevitably in the oceans, and they can be transported vast distances. One of the reasons for this is the volume of plastic we produce. In 2015, we produced 322 million tonnes of plastic. Compare that to steel at 1.7 billion, aluminium at 58 million. You can see that this is up there with most industrial practices, and this is having a significant ecological impact. But what do we do with the plastic once we've used it? Normally only a single time. You can either recycle, but most ends up in the waste stream. But the waste stream has littering, it has leakage from landfill, it has production spillages. All of these ultimately end up in the rivers and make their way to the ocean. These have serious ecological impacts, such as the seal behind me. You can see that it's been entangled in some form of plastic cable. Other types of impact could be ingestion, where the animals have swallowed the, the plastics. But plastics themselves can contain toxic chemicals and these toxins can leach from the plastic, potentially polluting the animal. A less well-known fact is that plastics themselves can actually absorb toxins onto their surface. And this can take concentrations of PCBs, PHAs and other organic pollutants from the ocean. And the result is a highly concentrated piece of toxic plastic, and this can enter the food chain. But toxins aren't the only things to bind to the plastic. Hitchhikers such as bacteria and algae, these can form biofilms around the, the plastic pieces, and these can be transported, these can be ingested. The result is invasive species in our pristine marine habitats or increased pathogen of the food chain. But given this dire scenario, what's the solution? Should we just ban plastic? I mean, that, that's not the way to go. Plastic, as I said, is a, is a great resource, but we need to design our plastic with its end of life in mind. Therefore, we can prevent discarded fishing nets such as this one, which will carry on fishing and killing long after we've finished using it. One solution potentially is biodegradable plastics, but the current range of biodegradable plastics are designed to degrade in high temperature industrial environments. This plastic bag you can see here has been in the ocean for three years Yet after three years, it still continues to perform its job perfectly well. So we need to start looking at how we can improve this. What about plastics that are making their way to the ocean? An example here, you see this in Baltimore and several other cities. We can collect plastics from the rivers and we can place them back into the waste stream, hopefully for recycling. This will prevent a buildup of plastics in the marine environment. One of the aspects of plastics already in the marine environment is what do we do with them? Some researchers are now looking at recycling and they can take plastics from the marine environment, break it back down into its base oil constituent parts. And this can then be used to make new plastics or potentially other oil-based products such as petroleum. But recycling is key. And one of the problems we have is when we design plastics, we add dyes and other aesthetics. And these can seriously impact the efficiency and the economic viability of recycling. So again, we need to think about how we design our plastics and do we really need to have that increased uh, dye? But what about the reclamation? So we can reclaim from the rivers, but here we see a, a harbour sea bin. This quite easily collects small pieces of plastic free floating on the surface. And this is, again, captures and we can put back into the waste stream. But this is a small scale. The technologies are growing, the impact is large. But in summary, the plastics are produced in huge volumes and travel great distances. They have toxic films around their surface and non-native species potentially spreading all over the globe. So it's important that we start to think about the problems that we see with plastics which have been disposed of and not put through the waste stream. And to give you an idea of the scale, the purple dots you see on this map, these represent samples taken by scientists. The larger the dot, the more plastic, and you can see that it encompasses all continents, and each one of these pieces of plastic has some environmental impact, be it toxic or entanglement. Given business as usual, such as you see, we're going to continue to see these ecological impacts. But if we can move more to a circular economy, reduce littering, prevent leakage from landfill, most importantly, if we can 
increase the economic feasibility of recycling. We can stem the ecological impacts and reduce the oil input.